सेखो अलबा सिटीजन टीसो दे आर न्यूमरस मिट थायर वॉच ब्रैंड्स दैट वन कुड चूज टू बाय एंड टू यूज नाउ वाई डिड आई बाय नोटिका सो आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर माई थॉट्स विथ यू गाइज अबाउट दिस वॉच I might not call it a review, but maybe more accurate to call it a first impression or initial impression of of this watch, this wrist watch. Now, um, back in the day, we used to think a lot, you know, before buying a wrist watch, especially guys, because this is one of our few precious adornments compared to uh, the numerous things that any girl would wear. So, uh, what what are the things that we would normally crack our heads over? We would think of things like the looms, whether the visibility is good at night or not. We would think about uh, whether it has perpetual calendar, meaning that it can show the date automatically, right? So we would think about that, and then we would think about uh, other things like. Uh, uh utility wise utility utility kind of things like you know temperature for example casio has uh, had use was famous uh, for all its uh, additional functions uh, besides being a watch uh, in the context of uh, uh temperature uh, compass and so on and then there are watches that show both 24 hours uh, 12 hours world city times different cities in the world uh, all these things excited us and we used to crack our heads and uh, think so much before buying a watch and often times the design themselves were often uh, an afterthought right you went for the watch that fulfilled your need the water resistance and uh, a lot of functional stuff uh, or you need a chronograph and so on as a priority and then you used to sort of uh, if you are lucky you might get certain design that you like uh, but with the birth of the smartphone Uh, and uh, a smartphone that can literally do anything after the advent of uh, the Steve Jobs slab in 2007 which launched the iPhone uh, the whole world of uh, wrist watches also uh, over time uh, has seen their roles diminish right so because the smartphone was able to do most of the things show you times countdowns world time you name it uh compass and what on everything is in your smart phone and uh, a double whammy occurred when uh, the smart watch came into the picture and now your 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 so called uh, uh, intelligent or so called uh, uh, software laden watches could literally also do all kinds of things change the dial of face to the design that you liked uh, right uh do all kinds of even show you messages from your phone and so on so those those kind of things were were able to be done already so what is the role now for our good old wrist watch do we need to think so much before buying one right so when i took a walk right to to the mall just walking around and you know uh just uh, taking a break from everything from work and so on so i um i came across a watch shop and uh I was chatting with the sales person and they said that nowadays uh, talking about perpetual calendars and what not uh, most watchmakers don't even bother all right I accept for certain more uh, certain certain brands which were known for it you know like maybe Seiko Citizen uh, and of course Casio is very well known for their perpetual calendars um, otherwise uh, uh, even even the uh, Seiko and Citizen in, uh, themselves you know uh, only certain models have those things so um uh, what they say was that it's becoming more of just an accessory right like you would wear a chain around your neck and watch is becoming an accessory so uh, and i also realized that uh, yeah they were right i told them that you know i i pretty much rely on my smartphone to to check time and do all those things that that a watch used to do so just to have an accessory in your hand you know sometimes you some people feel naked just walking around without a wrist watch because they're used to it and you know uh, the societal expectations and what not uh, so uh, so what are you going to put on your wrist now you of course you can, the, the most obvious one is a uh, smart watch in this era but uh, some of us uh, maybe feel a bit tired with the overload of electronica all around us and uh, Uh, we want to go for something like you know a kind of a, maybe a mini small uh, fashion statement or something to be nostalgic about and so on so it became very very easy forget about all these uh, 
thermometer functions or world time you know uh, and whatever accuracy and all all just throws everything out the window just wear something that you feel is comfortable on your hand that wears nice right that's all just something comfortable to uh, wear in your hand like almost like an accessory which oh so happen is tells time right so it's just like a like a additional nice thing to have right so so that 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 is how i decided on this guy and you know even the manual doesn't really bother to uh, you know if you go for some of the japanese brands uh, they would have very uh, extensive uh, and especially the older ones right so uh, but but if you go for this um, uh, this this uh, uh, what do you call it uh, nautica uh, uh, manual it doesn't say much it just talks about some battery life something about the water resistance okay and uh, even if you look at its uh, website uh, they're just mainly uh, designs right designs of the watches so um, uh, this is the trend nowadays so uh, I don't know I have to I have to ask all the watch lovers right do you guys really still uh, look for all those things when buying a watch or you guys just go for looks you know uh, maybe the, uh, you like the, the the feel of the steel I don't know how many people like the feel of steel uh, do you like the feel of the leather and then you like the look of a certain kind of a leather or a rubber strap or whatever it is it might be or maybe the shape you know of the um, K style and so on so um, uh, yeah give, give the feedback in the comment guys right so um, other than that uh, if you want to look at the model it's written here NAPSY0014 and uh, whatever I tried to look around I can't really find much literature in the internet about this particular nautical model uh, basically it's Japan movement uh, it's uh, about 42 millimeters uh, diameter this watch all right uh, and from lug to lug it's about it reaches almost 50 millimeters okay it's genuine leather strap and uh, it's stainless steel and it has a Japan movement okay and uh, otherwise uh, I think I went uh, I mean uh, as, I, as I said I went mainly for the design right the look it's got that leather a bit of a nostalgic feel um, it gave me a bit of a vibe of uh, you know uh, although I know I know Panerai is a bit different but it gave me that vibe of a Panerai slash Patek Philippe it's a hybrid of the two I would say so uh, yep that's my what I would call initial impression of the uh, Nautica right Nautica leather wristwatch uh, I think uh, nowadays uh, it doesn't matter you don't need to go and get a Seiko or a, any of those exotic uh, exotically engineered watches and so on uh, just get a good material like whether it be ceramic stainless steel good leather good uh, you know whatever material a pleasant design to look at uh, probably lightweight as well something that sits comfortably on your wrist and then you are good to go man you know you don't even need to bother about so many things even the night light and all that i mean you know you got your smartphone for all that man you know just you just need something sweet on your wrist something to just you know some uh, accessory and you're done so uh unless some uh, watch lover can come up with uh, reasons for 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 you know alternative uh thoughts for example maybe you might feel that you know, uh, the preppers among you all might feel that uh, some Armageddon might happen, the electricity gets shut off, and then your uh, watch which runs on the sun's rays or, you know, uh, on your wrist movements or uh, all these things will, will, will save the day, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's a valid theory, you know. And back in the day, in the in the late 80s, 90s and all that, we, we were so excited to get all the latest, you know, calculator watches and uh, all the... Uh, Seiko, you know, kinetic, you know, kinetic where it, it sort of is supposed to charge up with your movements and all that, right? So, but yeah, I don't know. I think the, those era has, go, uh, has gone by. Okay. So, uh, later I'll try to post a wrist shot as well. Um, but otherwise, uh, uh, share your comments, guys. Uh, to me, 
now the watch brands it doesn't really matter so much just the material the comfort and uh, just uh, a sense of fashion i guess that's all there is to say about rich wrist watches nowadays uh, those who go into pay i don't know so many us dollars to you know for a rolex and uh, patek philippe and uh, iwc and all those things i i maybe can give a reason for that uh, are they that beautiful they are beautiful no doubt about it they are beautiful they are sweet looking but are they that beautiful you know i was uh, walking by the uh, how do you pronounce it hublot 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 uh, h u b l o t showroom earlier you know i don't know man you know definitely is in the eye of the beholder i would say right so i uh, uh, almost forgot the price of this thing right the the cost of this thing maybe you can take a guess first all right uh, stainless steel japan movement uh, uh, some minor branding is there you know all right it comes to about um, uh, let me think let me convert maybe about uh, $150 all right the price of this thing and probably can get it cheaper if you you know you just usually go for online uh online sellers and what not better deals and all that right so i bought it without much of a discount maybe they gave me a small discount so uh that's it guys my initial impression of the nautica leather wrist watch uh and don't ask me about the the crown and the push button as well i didn't even like really ask the sales person about it uh, i i my presumption is the crown you move it around it will move the needles of course you know to set the time uh beyond that i i didn't have any much interest also to to pursue any any deep i just wanted something to you know just show me the time and just something to wear my wrist you know that kind of a thing okay guys bye bye take care see you soon